One of the best things you can do as a YouTube creator to grow your channel and develop your audience is to post new videos regularly and consistently. Today, I wanna to take you behind the scenes a little bit and show you the tools that I use to plan my own content schedule and calendar for video creators. I use a service called Trello, simply Trello.com. I'll put a link in the description below too if you guys wanna check it out. And it's a great tool for planning and organizing stuff. So here's what I do. So each of these columns uh, is the process I go, th I go through to, to publish a video for one of you guys. And I do have an editor on my team who edits these videos for me. And so uh, him and I collaborate on this Trello board together. So the first thing is my brainstorming list. And these are all the videos you know I'm putting together for you guys here over the next uh, few weeks and few months. And so I put an idea, here's my brainstorming list, and I'll just simply come down here, add a new card, and be like, uh, this would be an awesome video title that I would shoot. I don't know, something like that. <laughs> Not really. So, but then I can come here and I can add it to different categories. You know, maybe I'm going to make this as a, a tip video or a Q&A video. And, um, and maybe I'm going to change the due date. Maybe this is going to be due, I don't know, this is a, video, a Q and a video for, uh, let's put it into December 3rd, you know, something like that. Save. Okay. Save. And so that's all my, this is my brainstorming list. I'm going to delete this one because I'm not actually going to do it. But, uh, and so this is where I dump my ideas. And then what happens is as I shoot each one of these, I upload my photos in the Dropbox for my editor. And so once it's uploaded, I will take it and I just simply drag the card to upload it to Dropbox. And so now my editor knows that that photo is there waiting for him, ready to go. When he starts working on it, he puts it across to editing in progress. And when he's done editing and is ready for me to review and check it out, then he moves it to ready for review. And I know that any videos in this column, I can go check out. So the cool thing about this is each one of these cards for these videos kind of works as a great place to keep everything centralized for each video that we're working on. So I can click on this one and I can say, here's, I can have all my notes for when we just did this video about top five ways YouTube Red will change YouTube. Here's all the notes I wrote for it. You know, here's a bunch of videos I linked up for my editor to check out and, and use. Um, and we can drop, you know, some of these, these Q and A videos, you know, I drop the, the question in here, the, the actual image, you know, so he knows what, uh, what the question question is and he can use that right in the video file himself. Here's my notes, the seven points I gave for this video. And so you can, it's a really great place to keep everything um, in order. And him and I will go back and forth on these. I'll say, hey, at this point, and I'll make a new checklist and say, here's the updates to make. I can upload, um, you know, different, uh, let me see here. Um, is this it? Yeah. So here's the like different. Um, here's the process for the checklist for when it gets uploaded. Make sure it's got the title, then the description, the tags, playlist cards. You know that type of thing. So I'm gonna delete that for now. You don't need that on this one yet. But so it's a really good place to keep everything centralized for each video. And so these videos just kind of get moved across, and we go to final edits. Then we work on the thumbnail in here. Then it gets uploaded to Facebook and YouTube. Then it gets dropped in the the backup folder for me to to back up. Um, onto my external hard drive. So the, one of the cool things that I added here to Trello is uh, you can show this menu here and there's some power ups and calendar. I've enabled calendar and this is really helpful for me because now I have this thing right here called calendar. I can click on that and now I have a calendar view of each one of my videos and when they're going live. So here's the all the videos that are coming up. Um, these are the um, the tip videos, these are all the Q&A videos and here's the news videos. I shoot those each week so the, these aren't shot yet because I don't know what the news is happening in those weeks. But it's a really good visual for me to see what's going on, uh, what dates, what videos am I posting, and also for me to collaborate with others as necessary to make sure that, you know, we are getting everything done, you know, for each of these videos, like those content, back and forth, collaboration. Uh, we can, you can attach stuff from Dropbox and, um, and your, or your computer or other places or a link from someplace else and just make it a really easy way to collaborate and go back and forth on your content. The cool thing about Trello is that it is free and I find myself using it for many other projects outside of YouTube as well, just to kind of keep my life organized and moving forward. But it's certainly not the only tool that you could use to manage your content for your YouTube channel. So I would love to hear from you in the comments below. How do you manage the content that you are 
planning of it, your brainstorming, where do you dump that information? How do you, what's the process you go through to create a video and what tools have really been helpful for you? And if you are looking for some of the tools and ideas, definitely read the comments down there. I know you will learn a lot from the people here as I always do. So thanks for hanging out guys. If this is your first time, I would love to have you subscribe. Every Wednesday, I give you guys YouTube tips like this to help you grow your YouTube channels and your audience. Tomorrow, I got some YouTube Q&A for you and then Tuesday news and everything guys, just to help you grow your channel so that your message spreads and reaches the people who need to hear what you have to say and hopefully their lives are changed as a result. That's what this is all about. So thank you for hanging out guys. Subscribe and I'll see you guys again tomorrow. Bye.